Okay, this is a, a, a video in the series of solving equations. I actually f am filming this way later than I did the one on multi-step equations with uh, variables only on one side, so the, probably the video that comes after this in the playlist. But Because uh, I never did two-step equations, and I always thought that was a little bit of a, a blind spot in this system. So I am redoing it. You'll notice I'm not using the same camera down shot. I'm actually screening the board. It's so I can get a whole bunch of them done quickly, so I can add more. That way you can use them. Um, anyway. In this situation, I'm trying to solve an equation. So the first step when I solve an equation is always, for me anyway, I'm going to change the color of this uh, pen, to draw the line. When I draw the line, I mean drawing an actual line down the equal sign. The reason that I want to do it will come more into play in a multi-step equation than it would in a two-step, which is what this is. Uh, but it's important to notice when things need to be done on the same side of the line versus the opposite side of the line. If things are done on the same side of the line, you just do whatever operation it says. So for instance, if I'm combining some numbers together and they're on the same side of the line, I just combine them like they say to. So say I have plus 2 on one side and plus 3 on the other. I would just do 2 plus 3. If I go to the other side of the line or eliminate something, I need to make sure I do the opposite operation, which we'll talk about, in, or which we'll do in actually just a second. So that's why the line is drawn. The second step uh, is baby goes bathroom, which, if you watch one of the other videos, um, would refer to the distributive property. When I was uh, potty training my son, he always would say, Dad, I have to go pee or whatever, and I would immediately take him to the bathroom. I did it before anything else. Uh, even if I was being mugged, I would make sure that the mugger would try to mug us in the bathroom so that I could get him to the bathroom. But uh, it's just a reminder to me that I need to do any distributive property work first before I start combining like terms or anything else. The third step would be clean your room, and that would be where we combine like terms on the same side of the line. In our problem that we have here, uh, number one, I have negative 7 on one side, which is by itself, so there's no need to clean that up. And on the right side, I have negative 9 plus x over 8. The x over 8 term is a variable term. The minus 9 or the negative 9 is an integer or number term. Those are fine. You cannot combine those together, adding and subtracting, by adding and subtracting. So my room is clean. I'm good to go. The fourth step will be pork chops and applesauce. That's if you have an x or whatever variable on both sides of the line. We don't have that here, so I'll leave the explanation for when that actually occurs. There's already videos made on that. Uh, the fifth step is the one we're going to do next, which is called parties over. Now, when you have a party at your house, or pretend that you have them at your house, uh, two types of people will show up. There will be your friends, and then there will be these other people they bring with them that you don't really know. Those are your friends of friends. And I'm doing the air quotes thing that you can't see. Um, anyway, the friends of friends will not help you clean up. And they'll probably only babble on and on about their Facebook status or some dumb thing about Instagram. So it's better to get rid of them before you get rid of your friends. Because your friends might actually help you pick something up depending on your friends. So for instance, say that you are X. The thing I'm going to get rid of is the thing furthest away from X. As you can see in this problem, the 8 is just separated by that, uh, from the x by that line. So they're pretty close to each other. And if it was touching for a multiply, that's definitely close. The n negative 9, however, is further away. So that's the friend of friends. So the party's over now. We're going to get rid of that friend of friend. Now, the relationship between the x over 8 and the negative 9 is an add-subtract relationship because of that plus right there. So I need uh, that makes me aware of the relationship. To eliminate the 9, however, I need to think, what do I need to do to get rid of minus 9? Look at the sign in front of the 9 and not the, no, the thing after. That plus just tells us the relationship. The sign in front of the 9 tells us what relationship uh, we need to interact with it with. Uh, so only uh, numbers can only uh, are only affected by the signs in front of them and not after them. So in order to get rid of minus 9, I'm going to add 9 to this side, and I'm going to add 9 on the other side as well. Because like I said earlier, if you do something on one side of the line, you have to do it on the other, unless you're combining things together. Negative 7 plus 9 is positive 2, so I bring down that x over 8. Now I'm on to my final step, step 6, and that would be finish it. Finish it is when I get down to one single thing left to do. Usually it means I have to do some sort of opposite operation scenario. Here I have x divided by 8. In order to get rid of divided by 8, of course I need to multiply. So I'm going to do times 8, 
and over here I have 2 times 8. It is very so my answer is 16. It is very common, by the way, uh, for somebody to make the mistake and divide by or multiply by negative 8 because you've probably done some single step equations where in order to get rid of plus you're going to do minus, right? So it looks like I should go ahead and put that minus on the 8 when I multiply. But really, you're not making a negative 2 in the uh, equation that I've made up right there in the middle, I'm actually subtracting two, only because subtraction is the opposite of addition. Negative division is, or multiplication is not the opposite of uh, division. Multi uh, regular multiplication is the opposite of division. For instance, if I had x over 8 and I did x times 8, well, 8 on top and 8 on bottom, 8 divided by 8 is 1, so they cancel each other out. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. So I don't multiply by a uh, negative 8, I multiply by a positive. It just kind of looks like that when you do add or subtract. So that's the first one. Let's do a couple where I don't have to do so much writing, which means I'm not going to explain all the steps. Uh, I am going to explain them, but I'm not going to write them out. Uh, so this one, I'm going to draw my line. I don't have any distributive property, so no baby goes bathroom. I don't need to clean my room because I have a variable term and an integer term on the left side, and then I just have an integer term or a number on the other. Uh, so that's not there. No pork chops and applesauce because I've only got X on one side. I go straight to the party's over. Here's X. I'm going to get rid of the minus 6 because it's further away. So I'm going to add 6 here, and I'm going to add 6 to the other side as well. Negative 5 plus 6 is 1. Uh, now I'm left to finish it, so in order to get rid of divide by 4, I'm going to multiply by 4. So my final answer is x is equal to 4. Let's look at another one real quickly, or relatively quickly, as quickly as I can do with the technology that I'm using here. Now here's a weird one. In this question, I have negative 4 plus k, and that whole thing is divided by 3 and then that is equal to 3. So I'm going to draw my line again. There is no distributive property. There's no um, clean your room. There's no pork chops and applesauce. So we're at parties over. But this is a little bit more complicated because instead of having uh, just a number under k, this divide by 3 is under everything. Uh, we used to refer to this as the VIP section. It's kind of like a VIP section at a club. You kick everybody out that's not upstairs in the VIP first. So we're going to get rid of this whole divide by 3 thing. When I get rid of divide by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. Now everybody up in the top here is going to come down because we haven't gotten rid of them yet. So it's really like just a backwards version of the problems we've been working on. Now here I have a negative 4 plus k is equal to 9. The relationship between that k and the 4 is a add subtract relationship. But because the minus is in front of the 4, I need to add 4 to both sides. So my final answer, 9 plus 4, is 13. By the way, if you ever want to check, you can do 9 plus 4, uh, or negative 4 plus 13 divided by 3, because I just plugged in this answer where that k used to be. And uh, negative 4 plus 13 gives you, um, negative, uh, gives you positive 9, sorry. And 9 divided by 3 is just 3. So that would make k equal to 13. Let's see if there's another one. That's a little bit nicer. Here's one that we haven't done yet, and this is probably the one that you'll do the most on two-step equations. Same steps apply, though. Draw the line, and then I want to, uh, there's no baby goes bathroom, no clean your room, no pork chops and applesauce, so we're at parties over. Here's a you, or me, or whoever it's supposed to be, the, and the protagonist of our story. So six is right next to them. That would make them the friend, right? So we're going to get rid of minus three because they're the friend of friend. So get rid of minus 3 by adding 3. The big thing here is it's easy to think, oh, it's 51 plus 3, so I get 54. Don't drop negatives. Don't forget that they're there. That's the most annoying thing to go all the way through a problem and then make some annoying mistake because of the fact that you forgot the negative. So it's negative 51 plus 3 and gives you negative 48. It's really easy to drop signs. If you, the more steps you write out, I'm not going to lie, the easier they are to get right more often. And then we made it to finish it, and we divided by 6 on both sides, and we got negative 8. I think we have one more to do, and then that is it. So I'm going to flip on to the next one. Sorry about the delay in time. This is the last one we're going to do. So 
rules still apply. Draw your line. Here it is. Um, I've got no baby goes bathroom, no clean your room, no pork chops and applesauce. We're all the way down to parties over. Here's me or my ex. Haha. So they want to get rid of their friend of friend. I'm going to get rid of plus one by subtracting one on both sides. Negative 59 minus one is negative 60. Bring down the three X. That's the worst 60 ever. Let me try that again. There we go. In order to get rid of, uh, this is times 3x. You know it's times because they're touching. Like if you have hamsters uh, and you have a male and a female, if they touch, they multiply. Well, numbers and variables are similar. So in order to get rid of multiply, I'm going to divide, and I'm going to divide both sides by 3. x is equal to negative 20. And I can check my answer if I want. 1 plus 3 times negative 20. Uh, neg that would be uh, 3 times negative 20 is negative 60. 1 plus negative 60 is negative 59. And if we're going to believe that this is an equal sign over here, then my negative 59 from my problem should equal this answer, and it does. So we've got everything we need to solve two-step equations. Just follow the system. They're really not that difficult, and I'm sure you'll do fine.